Greetings everyone. In this video, we'll be looking at NC level 3 probability distributions achievement standard. And uh, in this video, I'll be focusing on uh, triangular distribution and we'll be looking at uh, its shape and uh, parameters. So we'll have a look at the characteristics of a triangular distribution. So uh, you already know that it is a continuous uh, probability distribution. Uh, it has uh, three parameters and these are the minimum maximum and the most likely value which is the uh, mode and of course it is shaped like a triangle and here's the uh, shape of a um, triangular distribution so we we got a random variable x and the probability density function f of x uh, minimum value is a maximum is b and the um, mode where it peaks is c and the three different types of shapes so the first one is uh, skewed to the left which is negatively skewed as uh, the one in the middle is skewed to the right which is positively skewed and uh, the, the last one is symmetrical so we know that the shaded area will denote the probability and uh, the total area will be one which is the total probability of one and uh, we know the area of a triangle is given by half the base times height and in this case, the base will be given by B minus A. And if I put those information together, area is one. So one is equal to half into B minus A, which is the base times the height, the height of the triangle. And uh, we can uh, quickly multiply by two on both sides to get rid of this half. So that gives you two is equal to B minus A times height. And we can rearrange and make H the subject. So divide both sides by B minus A. So height is given by two over B minus A, and that's the height of this uh, triangle that's there. Remember, this is the maximum height of the triangle, which is uh, uh, at C value, or the mode value where the triangle peaks. So we'll look at the probability density functions for uh, different uh, heights within this uh, triangle. And this is given by the function which is uh, shown here. Uh, this uh, formula sheet is given in your assessment, so you don't need to memorize anything. Or you can use um, uh, similar triangles to work the uh, heights out and uh, find the area by using half the base times height. So in this case, uh, you don't need to memorize the formula, but um, you know that uh, the f of x will give you the height of the triangle anywhere in between a and b you can find the height using this function and at c when it is c the height will be 2 over b minus a which you can still see here 2 over b minus a so in this formula you've got um, four sections the first section is when x value is less than a so this section here so you can see that uh, the height value is zero and um, when x is greater than uh, b the height value is also zero which is mentioned here and uh, we're interested in these two here the second and the third one so in between a and uh, c you can see that we have got a positive slope and that formula will be the top one here where x is positive that's how it's telling you that the height value is uh, in the uh, positive slope section where x is positive and the other one is when to use the third one here this formula is if you're finding the height between c and b says here between c and b where the uh, slope is negative so you'll see it says negative x so that's how you distinguish the two uh, formulas and uh, if you use that uh, logic you will never go wrong so um, you can take note of this you don't need to memorize the formula it's given as a formula resource sheet in the assessment so uh, the only thing you will need to know is when to use this one here the only time you'll be using it if you have got the height in between a and c which is captured by the positive slope here or this one here if you're finding the height between c and b which is in the section where we have got a negative slope that forms this triangle 
I hope this makes sense. We'll uh, look at the probability calculation now. So in this uh, diagram, you can see that uh, I'm interested in finding the area of the shaded region here. So what you need to do is quickly label the um, diagram. So A is the minimum value, B is the maximum, C is where it peaks, and X is the value that you uh, asked as per the question. And uh, we also know that uh, the um, um, probability between A and X, probability between A and X is given by half the base times height. And in this case, I need to find this height of the triangle, which will be given by this formula. So in this case, I can see that it is given by half the base and base in this case is between X and A. So it will be X minus A, so half into X minus A times the height. And uh, we can uh, see that height is given by this formula here. Why I'm using this one here? Because X is positive here. And uh, this is in the positive uh, slope section of the triangle and this one was negative so i'm using the one with positive so 2 into x minus a x minus a b minus a into c minus a and if i simplify this half of 2 will cancel out and then x minus a x minus a will become x minus a whole thing squared over b minus a c minus a um, so that becomes the uh, formula that uh, you can use to find the uh, probability that um, you're after. You don't need to use this formula, by the way. As long as you know half the base times height, you just know the base will be given by x minus a. Very easy to calculate that. This height here, you can uh, substitute the values given in this uh, function here to work it out. And then just put it half the base times height that gives you the probability. You don't need this uh, formula. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.